Hi, this is Tyler Alexander, PMBA, IFPA, Natural Professional Bodybuilder. I'm here with Chris Knight. We're going to run through some of the basic mandatory poses for bodybuilding. This is going to start out in a front symmetry shot. Uh, the goal here is to show your shoulder and lat down to your waist taper, uh, highlighting the quad development and the leg development. Looking for that overall X-Man figure. Chris gives a quarter turn. You see here that they're really trying to highlight the side chest development, the front and rear delts, show that thickness and show that one side of your body is equally developed with the other, that being the front and back shots, the uh, quad to the hams and the glutes. And overall, uh, that, that general appe appealing look of the bodybuilder. Uh, quarter turn Chris here we're showing the lat width and the shoulder caps down to that waist ratio again the development through the glutes and the hamstrings all the way down through your calves uh, again this is the backside of that X-Man figure we still want to see that general shape but we are looking for the development through the the muscle or excuse me through the back and the the hamstring glute regions quarter turn This shows the right side of the body, again, front delt to the rear delt, quad back to the, the hamstring, uh, looking to make sure that the development across all body parts is equal and symmetrical. And quarter turn. And this takes us back to our front symmetry shot. This is the start of all the bodybuilding shots. From here, they'll run into your mandatory poses, which are the front double bicep, There's two variations on a front double bicep. Chris has elected to leave one leg out to highlight the quad development. This is the second variation with feet together, showing both quads equally, both biceps, uh, and that general V taper from his lats down to his waist. Relax, show us a front lat spread. Front lat spread is the second mandatory pose. This is where you get a chance to really highlight the lat development and the width of your lats. Remember to keep in mind that at any time, you always want to show every muscle that the judges can possibly see, that being your quads, your abs, the symmetry through the waist ratio, uh, the, the lats, the shoulder caps, and even a little bit of those front biceps. Relax. Now judges may elect to have you do the, the overhead abdominal here or wait until you finish your rotations. We're going to wait until we finish the other rotations and we'll come back and show you that, that final shot. Quarter turn. This is a side chest. With the side chest shot, you wanna make sure that you are highlighting the glute and the ham and the top of the quad that the judges are seeing, and the judges of course would be similar to where the camera is at right now. You want to show the outside of that calf and the main area that they're going to focus on is through that chest and the shoulder regions. So you want to make sure that they get a chance to see that uh, without over rotating and coming back to a front shot. You want to show that thickness through your chest and the thickness of, and the amount of mass you've been able to build from your back through your chest. Relax. Side tricep. With the side tricep, again, you want to primarily show what the judges are looking for, and that be the tricep, uh, both the, the long lateral and the medial heads of the arm. So Chris is actually rotating so that he can show all three of those. Uh, there are a couple of variations on the side tricep. The shot that Chris is showing here actually allows him to show and highlight his back hamstring and his back calf because of the side chest that he just showed you, he was showing you the other leg. This just gives him an opportunity to show the judges that his body is equally balanced. Relax and quarter turn. From the back you have two shots, the first being a rear double bicep with one calf spiked.
here you want to pay attention, make sure your arms are back far enough so the judges get to look at the top of the deltoids, the bicep, the peaks, out through your lat ratio, and then the thickness and the development through the back region. Uh, the calf is always spiked to show the, the development of the calf muscle, which is something that a lot of bodybuilders often overlook. Uh, and then Chris is posing in such a manner that his hamstring and glutes are flexed. So you get to show every muscle on the back side of your body to the judges in just a matter of two shots. Relax. Rear lat spread with the opposite calf. And as we just talked about, the calf being the last muscle group, uh, judges will ask for the opposite calf so they can make sure that those are equally developed. Now you really get to see the flare and the width of the lats uh, and some of the other musculature through the back that you don't see with a rear double bicep. Relax, quarter turn. The shots from this position are the same as what we saw previously, those being a side chest and a side tricep, so we won't run through those here. Face front. Now we will show you the overhead abdominal and thigh. This is where you get a chance to really highlight your quads and show the development there. And then you always want to pose and pull your best ab shot, making sure that you show not only the abdominals and the center lines, but some of the obliques and uh, the tie-in regions that often get overlooked. Relax. Let's see a hands on hip, most muscular. Hands on hip, most muscular is one of the most difficult shots for bodybuilders to hit. Um, and it's one that judges really favor because it, it there's no hiding flaws at this point. Uh, there's a, a very strict way of performing this. Chris has his hands there on his hips, so they ask that those be in that region. You can't slide them up or down or move them behind your back or do things that are going to hide any flaws. All your muscles have to be out there on display, um, out through the biceps, the top of the pec development, working through the abs, and still being able to flex and show your quads from this pose is extremely difficult. And the last shot that they'll call uh, is the crab most muscular or just your most muscular shot. And this is probably the most famous shot for bodybuilders and one that the crowds really love. The reason they love that is because you get to see all of these big muscle groups popping and you, you strain so hard that the veins just really start to, to show out through the chest, through the shoulders. Uh, you get to highlight those quads, really just that, that whole pose and that whole persona of a bodybuilder being a big strong man, that's what you're bringing to the stage with that shot. And that takes you through all the mandatories for bodybuilding.